First and foremost, my name is Bobo Wing, B.O.B. I am the district councillor representing the people of Tubur Sabu County in Soroti District Local Government. But also to note, I am a former district youth councillor and former deputy speaker of Soroti District. So I'm working in the local, local government that I'm serving for my second term. There are many issues in the district that the cow is the causer. Number one, Soroti District Local Government recruited new staff. We recruited new teachers, about 123. Of the 123 teachers, over 70% of these new teachers haven't received salary in the nine, nine, some nine months, some eight months, some seven months. So one of the key issues that our civil servants in the district, newly recruited, are not receiving salaries. Yet the law is clear that the district cannot recruit staff without a wage bill. By the time you're recruiting, recruiting staff, you must have their salaries for the whole financial year. Now, if the money is available, the cow is failing to pay salaries and wages to serve your servants who must also feed their families, pay school fees, pay medical bills. You cannot be working in a district and you're not earning salary. Yet your money is there in the account and cow is not paying you the money. Number two, pensions and gratuity is not being paid. When we came here in the morning at 7 a.m., some old men were here waiting for the cow. Some people have moved here for over three months, over one year, looking for pension. Their money is there but not getting money. These ones are road guns. These road gangs have worked not only one sub-county, the whole district road gangs have worked, some are demanding four months, six months, they're not paid. So we are saying the accounting officer is the cow. It is the responsibility according to the law to pay people who work for this district and for this government. And because of that, that's reason number one. Reason number two, the vehicle of education department of Soroti's local government was given to the deputy RDC of Soroti. By the time the RDC came and the deputy, both of them had no cars. But the district through the cow gave them the vehicle of education department. As we speak now, the deputy RDC has a new car, the RDC has a new car. But the vehicle for the district is still in Kampala. We don't know whether it has been sold, we don't know where the car, the, the car is. Every time the cow is deceiving us, for the last one year and a half. So we are saying that vehicle must be brought. This property, now, if actually me, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell them the meeting. Since the RDC and the deputy already have two vehicles, they must give the office of the education one vehicle of the RDC, then they use the other ones that they have taken. That is the reason even the chairman LOC5 is using the vehicle of education. That vehicle is for education. It was bought for education. The number plate is for the Ministry of Education. Now the RDC has taken one vehicle. The LOC5 has taken one vehicle. And children are failing in this local government because there is no monitoring. The vehicles of education, one has the RDC, one is the LOC5 chairman. Reason number two. Reason number three is the construction of the district headquarters. So the district is about to lose one billion shillings because the cow, the LOC5, the RDC, the speaker and the team have failed to follow procedure have failed to follow procedure. Now you see the councillor of Katine, the secretary for, 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 for finance, has, has assaulted me in public. Because we are telling them they are stealing money, they are not following procedures, they are failing the district, and for those reasons and among other reasons, we are saying the cow must leave. And we have given the cow up to 30th of June this financial year. After this action, the next thing I am going to lead a team of councillors who are going to Kampala to the permanent secretary, the Minister of Local Government, Mr. Ben Kumumanya. We want to present our petition to Kampala. We don't want this cow. We must leave our district. Let them bring us another cow. The cow was, there is no moral in the district here. Honorable Gwanyi David, I'm the district councillor representing the people of Asuret Sub County in the district of Soroti. Uh, first of all, uh, we are so much degraded. Uh, because of what is what is taking place, because because when you look at uh, uh, the reason why we reach the extent of locking, because because the reason why we decided to lock, the, the, the reason why we decided to lock the office of the cow, first of all, it is that uh, this thing has taken long. We have tried meeting in different forums, we did in different dialogues. We try to raise our concerns because the concerns that we have, the chairman LOC5, the RDC, the cow have formed an inf they are infusion. So which means these people are working as a team and yet we are also legitimately elected by our people in the respective sub-counties. <coughs> which means that running Soroti District Local Government, it is supposed to be run jointly by the honorable members, the district chair and all other stakeholders. When you see Soroti District Local Government, Let's talk about uh, contractors. Contractors have done their works. The files are lying in the cow's office, have accumulated, and cow has taken one month, is not in office. When you look at the pensioners, the pensioners, 
more of them have not received their salaries of even last month. And though they received their salary of last month, they received on the third. And yet these pensioners, most of them, they don't have other, other job or other works that they are doing. Some of them are doing smaller farming, but you cannot be getting daily income in farming. So you find that most of the people who are, who are retired, they have illnesses, they have sicknesses. Some of them have diabetes, they have pressure. But when they get this small money of theirs, the pension in time, it can help them sustain their lives. There is an old woman here, I don't know where she is. She's the one who sweeps here. An old woman, you fail to pay her 30,000 per month. You, they are stealing money alone, they are eating alone here. Issues of contracts. How do you build one classroom block at 90 million, another at 130? Because the big people are eating the money. Stuff here can hardly touch money. They put fuel in the petrol station and they cow a diesel or C5, go and take the fuel. And the department has no fuel. And therefore, for those reasons, we are saying the cow, Mr. Muramira Agri Winston, must leave. Actually, I'm the one carrying the key of that place and we're not opening unless we agree very well now in that meeting. Yes. Hey, the key is here, I'm the one holding it. Now, what if police, uh, what if police insist that uh, they are opening after the resolutions in the meeting, which I know, mm. are almost bearing fruits? Yes. W what will you do next? About opening the cow's office now is not a matter of police, not a matter of LOC5. It is a matter of us who locked. It is not police who locked. It is us who locked. And I'm going to call my members and we we'll agree what to do. If we agree to open, we open. If, we, if I agree now to run to the village to brew the key, they either cut it or they sort themselves out. I don't want him. That cow is a useless cow. That cow was chased from Luengo. That cow is in the list of cows who are supposed to go back home. We just don't want that cow, sir. We don't want him. Hey, we don't want that cow. About to, you have been assaulted. Yes. It is against the rules of procedure. Yes. In the council. Yes. What next step are you taking after a there fellow councillor has There are two you? options. The LOC5 must remove that, that sector of finance with immediate effect, or we are now going to sign, a, members are going to sign a petition to censor him. By the next council, will not be a member of the executive. That one is simple. Either his boss removes him or we remove him. Are you not opening an assault case? Actually, I'm also going to continue to file a case against him for assault. Yes. Were you injured in your physical? Hey, I'm feeling pain. When you, when you are assaulted, you feel pain. Where? Where? Yeah. Where is that? Now nobody is paying me.